I'm moving some of my James Bond stuff and uh, here is a box um, I'm going to open some bits and pieces in so uh, let's have a look at um, a variety of items we've packed away here there we go, I've got a stingray fly there, this is um, made by Lakeside in the USA and uh, I've got a few Lakeside pieces so I'm trying to think how I bought this one off now uh, Nick Hall I think Nick Hall, oh and we've got um, a piece here which is really um, sort of a fake 007 piece. It's, it's not 007 at all, um, but um, I have seen ones that people have put 007 stickers on the side and it's just a, a frogman on a, um, on a sled, very um, reminiscent of um, Thunderball. And, um, it's a cheap plastic toy which uh, is... Uh, Always great, or cheap at the time, maybe maybe not so cheap now. Probably pay 20 or 30 quid for that one. Um, here we have an Airfix Red Stripe kit, so named because of the little red stripe there by, by the name. And this is the um, famous Auto Gyro. One second. So, in 1967. Uh, based on the uh, helicopter Little Nelly from um, You Only Live Twice. That looks uh, pretty, uh, pretty good condition actually. I'm uh, yeah, glad I got that one. It's quite pleased. I've got a few of these and uh, I've got one somewhere that's signed by um, Desmond Llewellyn. So um, I, must, uh, I must dig that one out. Okay, what else have we got? Ah, oh, here we go. This is one of the... Um, Goldfinger um, Rolls Royces that was um, made, I think, um, for some James Bond um, collecting club or, or something. I can't remember exactly what it was for. Um, there we go, it's, uh, oh yeah, it's even got a certificate in it. I don't think I've ever opened this, so uh, this is a first. This is number 008. Ah, one off, one off. Um, I'll show you the, the Rolls Royce there. It's um, it was a steep, a Salido standard model, possibly repainted um, for for this edition. Oh, there's a piece of paper. Can you want to just say? Uh, possibly repainted for this, just for this edition. Um, Goldfinger's Rolls Royce. Here we go. Um, models arrived from Holland during the first week of April. They mail it to them. Uh, the Dutch model could only find 35 Salido models to, so, to customise, so, um, well, I don't really know the history behind that one. Um, maybe, maybe other people might know what we're going on about there. Oh, there we go. It's only a toy. Uh, what else have we got? Lone Star, something like that. Oh, James Bond... Um, James Bond pistol there. This is the um, second variation of um, this particular. Yeah, it's in there. The gun, gun is in there. Um, toy shows um, this guy here. Uh, the original box version of this showed um, Sean Connery, and I think there was some difficulty in the 60s with 60s with Sean Connery's image on things. I think he was starting to get a bit upset, so um, that was stopped. This looks like. Um, this one here, this is a, uh, oh yep, that's the um, the Lone Star Midgey Beretta. Um, that isn't logoed up Lone Star, but the uh, the holster is. And um, in silver, it was um, included in the um, the Lone Star presentation cardboard attaché case um, with that holster, and in in black. It was actually available on a card with, with the holster. It's two versions, one with holster, one without. Um, so that's like a piece of jewellery or something. Oh no, no, it's an Aston Martin. Oh, I know what this is. This is the Western models. Aston Martin. From uh, Living Daylights. Quite a nice model. Um, far, far superior to the Little Lead Soldiers model which um, 
is basically a vaguely car-shaped lump of metal. That, but the, um, the Western models is, is actually a very nice model. Uh, we've got a box here, what's going on here? Uh, nothing, oh, no, we've got some. Oh, yes, this is um, a plastic um, plastic prototype of the um, Kogi Jr.'s um, Little Nelly. Uh, just showing all the, the parts, etc. There we go. What else have we got in here? We've got um, sleeve. Oh, this is this will be corgi. This looks like corgi. It looks like a corgi out of sleeve. So in here we should have some corgi models. Probably the same, same, same one. Sorry, what are they here? Oh, there we go. So that will be a sleeve of um, six lotuses on the. Um, American card, which probably was available over here as well. Um, okay, what else we got? What else we got? Um, dairy box. I can already hear this includes something interesting, and uh, this is the um, Thunderball. I can tell with its little stand there and um, this was um, unlicensed as far as I know um, and I came on a generic card so a card that had no reference to um, James Bond and, and was the same as other pinballs that they put out there um, box has fittings so what's in there oh, you've got a little um, a little Hosky there 1401 um, I think um, there's 1401, 1004, 1201. I think there's three, maybe four different numbers for the, for that car. Um, I'm not sure exactly all the differences of them. Oh, this is there, the little KKS. Just uh, look at these, just. Yeah, KKS Colt Silencers, there's a pair there. I think the difference in these is, the reason why I have two is, one is a, is a, is a pla they look exactly the same. One, one's a plastic pistol, and, and the other is a, a metal die-cast pistol. Um, they did two versions of it. I, I couldn't tell you if one is more sought after than the other, I don't, um, I don't I, maybe I knew that, I don't, I don't know that now. Um, this is the model kit, I think. So let's open it up and have a look. Ah, there we go. That's the, um, the Lotus Esprit um, model kit by e Grip. Very nice. That's the road-going version. They also did... Um, a, um, an underwater version, which maybe, oh no, that's a road going version as well. I have somewhere an underwater version. This is an interesting looking box. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, in here we've got these are cool, interesting pieces. There's a, a scale extric uh, Aston Martin there. And a uh, Corgi um, Diamonds Are Forever Mustang, well, reasonably common items. This is a very cute little thing though. Bond 007 and it's a, um, it's a battery. So, uh, unused there. Unlicensed, but obviously um, trying to take some advantage of the spy market, whatever that might be. Um, a dinner suit, my Gilbert. Um, these were made in 1965, and um, in fact, I've got a couple of outfits here. Oh, an empty card there for whatever reason. A couple of outfits there, they're the same, they might be the same outfit. 1652, yeah, same outfit. And the um, this card here 
fits inside a frame box there but there was no frame box made for this outfit this outfit was one of a couple that were included in the mail order James Bond doll from Sears for the first Christmas in 1965 um, relatively common um, these um, and probably would have been sold in five and dime stores to, to get rid of the stock uh, because the, the mail order version was quickly um, stopped and a full colour box version was put out two styles um, yeah that's a good box and I think the last thing we've got here is oh, we've got a guild catalogue this is the uh, the nicer of the guild ones because it has the um, show the disco volante in there and this piece here if I remember rightly is one of the, um, the gold boxes from Corgi which were issued to dealers um, with a gold, a gold DB5 inside. There is a slightly later version of this box which was um, made to get rid of some of the old stock and that was sold through uh, Comic Miniatures. It is interesting to note that um, Hogan themselves don't have a version of this anymore because they, they actually gave the last one away. <laughs>